very good morning to one and all today uh, we are going to see the uh, in the last class we have seen uh, how to draw the load curve and load duration curve today uh, just we are going to see some uh, uh, we are going to recall uh, recollect uh, the um, the terms what we have learned uh, in the previous class after that we are going to solve a problem so just to uh, recollect so connected load what is connected load connected load is nothing but sum of total loads connected to the power system that is sum of the equipments uh, total equipments uh, or equipments connected to the bus or power system that is called connected load what is the maximum demand maximum demand is nothing but it is the greatest demand of the load on the power system during a given period so it is a greatest demand maximum demand is nothing but greatest demand of the load on the power system during the given period next year, what is the demand factor demand factor is nothing but maximum demand divided by the connected load that is the ratio of the maximum demand to the connected load and you know like a demand factor is always um, okay uh, less than so next is uh, load uh, load curve load curve you know so by drawing the load curve you can easily uh, see what is the you can easily find out what is the maximum demand maximum demand in that particular time uh, okay so load curve um, so um, this is the time versus the load so that we are going to draw the load curve so what is the average load how to find out the average load so average load is nothing but the averages of load occurring on the power system in a given period that is day or month or year it is known as average load or average demand that is the average of loads occurring on the power power station for a given period in a given period so in a particular period what is the Uh, average uh, average of loads occurring on that particular power station or substation that is called your average load so what is the load factor load factor is nothing but average demand divided by the maximum demand or average load divided by maximum load or maximum demand so demand and uh, uh, load are same so load factor is nothing but average demand divided by the maximum demand next what is average demand average demand is equal to unit generated divided by time in hours average demand is equal to unit unit generated divided by time in hours after calculating this average demand what you have to do is you have to substitute this substitute this average demand here and you have to calculate the load factor or otherwise directly you can calculate uh, load factor is equal to unit generated divided by maximum demand into time into time in hours like that also you can do <coughs> like that also you can do but but uh, like uh, for easy understanding you can go like simply like load factor is equal to average demand divided by maximum demand so average demand is nothing but unit generated divided by the time in hours so what is the plant capacity factor so plant capacity factor is equal to unit generated divided by plant capacity into number of hours so plant capacity factor is equal to unit generated divided by plant capacity into number of hours so unit generator already we calculated so directly you can take here unit generator divided by plant capacity into number of hours next what is plant use factor what is the definition of plant use factor plant use factor is equal to total energy generated divided by rated capacity of the plant into number of operating hours i repeat plant use factor is equal to total energy generated divided by rated capacity of the plant 
into number of operating hours. So number of operating hours, like uh, if you are taking 24 hours, we can take simply like 24 hours. So like that uh, plant capacity also here also number of operating hours. So um, like uh, majority uh, we are going for 24 hours. If you want uh, like in a month, so 24 into 30. If you want in a whole year, then 24, uh, 24 into 365 is. So like that, you can go for number of operating hours. So um, uh, most of us uh, like uh, in a, like uh, if you say like in a uh, generating station in a substation, what they, they will analyze is they will analyze uh, the daily load, daily load and also as well as the monthly load and as well as the yearly load. So daily load for generation. So generate in generate in station, they will uh, just uh, see the um, like uh, that daily load curve just for uh, generating uh, for the today's day. <coughs> just for generating for the today's day. So previous year, what is the um, 19 for 2020? What is the previous year load? So based on that, they may uh, generate, um, they may predict, they may predict uh, this much amount of um, uh, like uh, load might be that and uh, they will generate more also because uh, due to the uh, ever increasing load and also like uh, they know um, uh, in this current scenario, uh, how the, in this particular year, how, uh, how much load is being increased. Uh, say for example, uh, some 50 megawatt is increased or 25 megawatt is increased. Uh, hope over the uh, all over the state, some 50 megawatt is increase and uh, like 100 megawatt is increase. They know. So based on that, they will uh, just uh, add that also. They will not simply generate whatever there in the previous uh, month or previous year. But uh, uh, based on that also, they uh, like they know like average load. They know in a particular um, uh, this year. So how much uh, megawatt it was increased. So, so same like that, what they will do is they will increase that. So that um, they will add that, that say as a whole, they will generate and they will um, give. So next, uh, seeing the plant use factor. So uh, I'm just repeating plant use factor is equal to total energy generated divided by rated capacity of the plant into number of operating hours. So next, what is reserve capacity? Reserve capacity is equal to plant capacity minus maximum demand. So what is the plant capacity minus the maximum demand? Reserve capacity. Sometimes this plant capacity will be given in the uh, problem itself. Sometimes they, 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 they may not give also. So what they have to do is, we have to do is, we have to calculate this plant capacity. We have to just uh, um, calculate this plant, plant capacity based on the uh, the uh, like uh, the problem based on the problem they have given. Next, so what is diversity factor? Diversity factor is equal to sum of individual maximum demand divided by maximum demand of power station. So diversity factor is equal to sum of individual maximum demand divided by maximum demand of power station. So as we see, diversity factor is always greater than unity. That is always greater than one. That is nothing but maximum demand of power station is less than sum of individual maximum demand. Okay. So this term, maximum demand of the power station will always uh, less than the sum of the individual maximum demand. So then only the, this diversity factor will be greater than one. Okay, if it is less than one, then the cost of uh, power generation will be increased like anything that will be reflecting on your tariff. So diversity factor, if diversity factor is increasing, then uh, meanwhile, the cost of uh, generating the power is less. So if the diversity factor is increasing, the cost of generation of power is less. So that is the relation. Okay. So uh, this plant use factor we have already seen. So again, I'm repeating just uh, uh, to recollect. So what is load factor? 
load factor is nothing but average demand divided by maximum demand. Average demand divided by maximum demand. How to calculate the average demand? Average demand is equal to unit generated divided by time in hours. So what is the plant capacity factor? Plant capacity factor is equal to unit generated divided by plant capacity into number of operating hours. That is number of hours. So unit generated divided by plant capacity into number of operating hours. What is the plant use factor? Plant use factor is equal to total energy generated divided by rated capacity of plant into number of operating hours. Plant use factor is equal to total energy generated divided by rated capacity of the plant into number of operating hours. Okay, so that is the plant use factor. So here, next uh, reserve capacity. So what is the difference between this plant capacity factor and plant? So here, plant capacity factor, we are uh, taking the plant capacity. Here for plant use factor, we are taking the rated capacity of the plant. So, okay, there is a difference between the plant capacity and rated capacity of the plant. What is the reserve capacity? How to calculate the reserve? Uh, reserve capacity of that particular uh, uh, power uh, power station. So reserve capacity is equal to plant capacity minus maximum demand. So what is the diversity factor? Diversity factor is equal to sum of individual maximum demand divided by maximum demand of the power station. So it is it will be always greater than unit. So next we will move on to the problem. So this problem, like uh, whatever the uh, like uh, uh, this definition we have seen, that is more than enough for this problem. So if you uh, just uh, uh, you can able to remind that by uh, like for like uh, formulas, so you can easily solve. That is very simple. You can easily solve any problem. Say whatever the problem is being given to you, not only this particular problem. Whatever the problem is given to you, you can easily solve uh, the problem. Okay, no need to uh, worry about. Okay, so now we'll move on to the problem. A generating unit unit has following load from 12 p.m. to midnight. 12 uh, midnight to 5 a.m. 500 kilo watt. Next, 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. 800 kilo watt. Next. 10 a.m. to 12 noon, 2000 kilowatt. Next, 12 noon to 2 p.m., 100 kilowatt. 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., 2500 kilowatt. Next, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., 2000 kilowatt. Next, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., 1500 kilowatt. 10 p.m. to 12 p.m., 1000 kilowatt. So, this is the problem. So this is the, uh, for example, a generating unit as a following load from 12 midnight to again the same 12 midnight. For 24 hours, this uh, data is being given. For 24 hours, these are the following loads. That is 500 kilowatt, 800 kilowatt, 2000, 1000, 2500 kilowatt, 2000 kilowatt, 1500, 1000. Like that, yeah, problem is given. So what do you have to calculate? <laughs> you have to calculate this uh, five things. So find uh, first draw the load curve and load duration curve. Next second one determine the number and size of generating units. Third one plant load factor. Fourth one plant capacity factor. Fifth one plant use factor. So these things we need to find out. So this is the generating unit. Generating unit as a following load this is from this is given. So we have to calculate load curve, load duration curve, and uh, we have to determine the number and size of generating units. Next, the plant load factor, plant capacity factor, plant use factor. So first we are going to draw this load curve. So you know load curve, uh, how to draw the load curve. So it is very easy. So according to that, what I have taken is. I have taken in x axis like time in hours. So, time in hours, so whatever like it is given in the problem, like 12 midnight to 
12 midnight i have taken so 12 midnight so again two uh, so two two divisions i have taken you can also take one one divisions also uh, no problem in that uh, you can also take uh, 12 midnight 1 am 2 am 4 am 6 am uh, like uh, like that you are also you can take so i have taken like two two units uh, two two units so 12 midnight 2 am 4 am 6 am 8 am 10 am uh, like 12 noon next at uh, 2 pm 4 pm 6 pm 8 pm 10 pm and again again 12 midnight like that i have taken in the x axis so what are, what is uh, what uh, i have taken in y axis here i have taken load in this axis is called load in kilowatt this axis is called time in hours okay so no x axis and uh, y axis so just for um, understanding i have uh, taken but uh, uh, really this axis is time axis that is time in hours this axis is load in kilowatt so load load in kilowatt so based on the problem so how, how the problem is like 500 800 2000 1000 2500 2000 1500 1000, 1500 so you can also take like 1000 2000 3000 like that but if you take 1000 2000 3000 only uh, three uh, units is coming three uh, units you can easily complete but uh, three units uh, the accuracy will will not come so uh, for that uh, what i have uh, done is i have taken like 500 uh, 500 1000 1500 2000 2000 2500 3000 like that so like that it will be uh, good you can also take 100 also your wish that is uh, not uh, the problem but 100 if you take uh, you, you have to go up to 2000 so 25 um things are 25 uh, scales you have to choose so if you take 500 it will be uh, uh, good reason so uh, so for that uh, how i have taken is 500 1000 2500 2000 2500 so here so how to draw this so 12 to 5 am so 12 midnight to 5 am 500 kilo so 12 midnight but that is here 12 midnight to 5 5 am so that is 500 Kilo. So like that. Uh, next, 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. 800 kilo. 5 a.m. to here. 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. Up to 10 a.m. How much? 800. So approximately here. 800. 800. Like that. Next, 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. 2000. 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. It is 2000. So again, it is increased to 2000. So again, uh, next at twelve noon to two pm. Twelve noon to two pm. Thousand kilo. Twelve noon to two pm. Only thousand kilo. Because that is, uh, I think, that is being the uh, lunch time uh, like that. Next at two pm to five pm. Two pm to five pm. Two thousand five hundred kilo. Two pm to five pm. 2500 so it is increased to 2500 kilo next 5 pm to 8 pm 2000 kilo 5 pm to 8 pm 5 pm to 8 pm 2000 again it is decreased to 2000 kilo 8 pm to 10 pm 1500 8 pm to 10 pm 1500 here 10 pm to 12 pm 1000 kilo 10 pm to 12 pm 1000 kilo so like that you have to draw neatly okay using scale and pencil you can easily draw this but here the uh, like units is very very important this is load in kilowatt this is time in hours no need to mention here the x y like that this is not x axis y axis okay i think in, in the in your basic classes you have uh, uh, draw like that x axis y axis but really speaking this is the time in uh, time axis this is the load axis in kilowatt unit is very very important if you simply like that you load if you simply write load then that also um, like uh, unit is missing here if you simply like time so uh, you have to write like in hours in bracket hours so time in hours so that is very very important unit so neatly you are here yeah, drawn next how to draw this load duration curve for load duration curve by seeing 
this problem simply like that you can draw but sometimes like a uh, uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 things are there eight uh, things you need to plot so, so sometimes you will be missing one or two things so um, so one of the easy way to draw this load duration curve is uh, like uh, you have to sort this all this load in this uh, like descending off <coughs> so simply so what i did is i i have sort this in descending order descending order means loads in descending order so first 2500 2000 2000 1500 1000 1800 like based on the problem so i have sorted uh, this in descending order 2000 2000 again 2000 next uh, sorry 2000 2500 uh, 2000 2000 Next again thousand five hundred. Next thousand thousand eight hundred five hundred. Like that, I am sorting this in descending order. And here I am taking in duration in hours, duration of the time. This is very very important. If you take simply like time in hours, uh, then uh, 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 like you have to add uh, every time. So better you can take like duration in hours. Duration in hours. How much duration this? Two thousand five hundred mega uh, sorry kilowatt remains. How much duration this two thousand five hundred kilowatt remains? Two to five pm. So two pm, three pm, three pm, four pm, five pm. So three hours. So three three hours. So um, three hours I have taken. So duration in hours is three hours. Next again two thousand. Two thousand how much? Uh, so ten to twelve. So two hours. Okay, eleven twelve. Two hours. So two hours here. So duration is two hours. So two hours. So how I did this? I have added. So three plus two is five. Okay. So here also you can write like this here. Here also you can write here as two. And uh, uh, again, uh, what uh, you, uh, like you can add. Here. But uh, if you add and write like this, it will be easy for you to plot. Next again. Again, one one more two thousand is there. Five pm to eight pm. So six, seven, eight. So three years. So three years you have to add here. So three years. So five plus three is eight. So again two thousand kilowatt. So here while writing this, uh, uh, drawing this uh, uh, like uh, the stabler column. So you have to mention in uh, units here, uh, load in kilowatt, duration in hours, or otherwise uh, you have to write two thousand five hundred kilowatt, two thousand kilowatt like that. Like that, but simply if you write uh, here uh, in table or column uh, here in uh, units, uh, it is easy to understand also. Okay, easy to plot also, understanding also your wish. You have to write, but uh, otherwise you have to write uh, hours, hours, hours like. That. So simply like that, if you draw, uh, like if you write in the beginning itself, in the beginning of the ta table or column itself, it will represents all the whatever the, you mentioned here, all in kilowatts. Here also, whatever you mentioned, all in hours duration in hours. Next is thousand five hundred, thousand five hundred. Yeah, ten. So eight to ten is two. So two hours you have to add. So two hours you have had. Similarly, thousand. So again, I think two hours. So ten uh, plus two uh, is twelve. Again, here thousand. Again, twelve uh, into twelve plus two is fourteen. Again, eight hundred. So eight hundred, how much? Eight hundred how much? Five to ten. So five years. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five years. Like that, five years you have to add. So fourteen plus uh, five, ninety. So again five hundred. Five hundred. Yeah. Again uh, five years. One, two, three, four, five. So again five years. So nineteen plus five is twenty. So here twenty-four hours automatically it came. So duration three five uh, based on the problem three five eight ten. 12, 14, 19, 24. So, which means that 2,500 mega, uh, sorry, kilowatt. Okay, it uh, it leads for three years. Next, 2,000 uh, 2,000 uh, kilowatt. It uh, leads for five years. Next, 2,000 uh, kilowatt leads for again, like uh, again, uh, uh, three uh, three years, like uh, up to the duration of eight years, like that. 
like that it is ex extend so so with this easily you can draw this load duration curve so load duration curve so th this scale this axis i am taking as duration in hours okay so this is not time in hours just uh, see here if you write time in hours this is wrong this is the duration okay load duration in hours okay so you have to write like duration in hours so uh, simply like that i have taken like 0 to uh, 2 2 units 3 units also you can take so 3 uh, 3 units also you can take so i have taken here uh, 2 2 units 2 2 units is uh, uh, very uh, good to plot so 2 2 units or 1 unit also you can take so 24 uh, uh, like that uh, 1 2 3 4 up to 24 also you can take but uh, you have to plot very longer so simply like that if you take uh, 2 2 units so in the scale if you just mark 1 1 uh, centimeter or 1.5 centimeters easily you can draw this so uh, like uh, 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20, 20 uh, 22 24 so up to 24 duration i have plotted here so in this axis i have taken like load in kilowatt load in kilowatt also i have taken similarly uh, as previous 500 1000 1500 2000 2500 kilowatt like that i have uh, taken in this this axis so now it is very easy to plot so 2500 remains for how many duration how much duration like 3 years so 3 years 2500 for 3 years like this so 2500 remains for 3 years so again 2000 remains for uh, like like 5 years and again for 8 years so 2000 remains for 5 years and again for 8 years so 8 years it remains so next is 1500 1500 remains for 10 uh, hours 10 hours duration so uh, from 8 again it is extended to 1500 so it is decreased decreased to 1500 so it will be in decreasing order because already we sorted in descending order no so like that easily you can plot next year, 1000 remains for 12 hours next year, again 1000 for 14 hours so 1000 uh, remains for 14 hours that is 1000 yeah here is 1000 1000 remains for 14 hours next year, 800 remains for 9 19 hours 800 that is 800 so 800 is somewhat uh, yeah here so 800 remains for 13 hours next year, 500 remains for 24 hours 500 remains for 24 hours like that uh, for 24 um, hours this uh, uh, like uh, duration duration of the load is plot so by seeing the load duration curve so we can easily uh, see so which is the maximum demand in uh, uh, like particular hours particular for example 24 hours duration so how many hours so maximum de demand is reaching this much so what is the maximum demand you can easily know easily know like 2500 kilowatt uh, like uh, so how much hours that 2500 kilowatt remains so 2500 kilowatt remains for this money three hours next so 2000 remains for this money uh, six hours like that easily you can uh, know so by this uh, if, if, uh, if they plot low duration curve so with this data in uh, like uh, um, in generating station also they may just uh, mark for eight hours shift uh, how much hours so um, uh, what is the peak demand how much hours we have to uh, generate uh, like uh, this much megawatt like that they can easily know and also in a, a substation also by seeing this low duration curve they can easily know uh, what is the maximum demand in substation how it is varying so uh, so uh, like 2500 uh, kilo megawatt or for 2500 kilowatt remains for this many hours 2000 uh, megawatt uh, kilowatt remains for this many hours uh, 1500 1500 how many hours it, it remains like that easily uh, we can note down so based on that uh, they uh, like uh, from substation they may communicate to generating station also like that this many uh, this much uh, things is there so you uh, this much uh, uh, load is varying like this so you have to generate uh, 2000 megawatt uh, like a uh, allocation also very very easy allocation allocating the uh, like uh, generating units. 
so uh, so thermal from thermal uh, maximum if you drop or hold state uh, so this many this much uh, like a 13500 megawatt uh, like 14000 megawatt like that you can easily uh, know 14000 megawatt or 15000 megawatt so 15000 megawatt remains for 5 years so 15000 megawatt we have to generate 15000 megawatt for 5 years so which uh, generating units we have to allot we have to choose so that we can generate um, this 15000 megawatt for this particular hour like that we can easily uh, know and easily we can allocate uh, that particular uh, generating units how much they have to generate so this is that this is the load duration curve so easily you can draw this load duration curve sometimes in two mark question also they may ask uh, to draw this load curve and as well as the load duration curve next what we have to find out is next we have to determine the number uh, number and size of the generating units so what is the number and size of the generating units so uh, if you see like for various changes of load uh, during the different uh, time of the day we need to install the different size of generating unit so here while uh, uh, while uh, like uh, load duration curve we are uh, we are plotting uh, we are just drawing this um, uh, tabular column so while drawing this tabular column uh, another one column also you can draw so for uh, generating this 2500 megawatt uh, uh, how we have to choose the generating unit so uh, for 2000 megawatt so 2500 uh, kilowatt we can choose like uh, 2 into 100 to sorry 2 into 1000 kilowatt uh, plus 1 into 500 kilowatt. Why? Because uh, the maximum generating uh, size, uh, if you take like so 500 uh, kilowatt or uh, like 1000 kilowatt, like that, 1000 uh, kilowatt uh, generating unit, like that, you can find it. So, simply like that, if you go for 2 into 1000 um, kilowatt generator and as well as 1 into 500 kilowatt, we can easily uh, generate 2500 kilowatt like that if it is similarly in megawatt same like 2 into 1000 megawatt plus 1 into 500 megawatt so from that the generating unit you can easily generate 2500 megawatt whereas in uh, like a bulk generating units so this is the load no so uh, for generating this load we have to choose this 2 into 1000 uh, kilowatt plus 1 into 500 uh, kilowatt like that. so like that similarly 2000 means 2 into 1000 Kilowatt. Again, 2000, 2 into 1000. Again, uh, 1500 kilowatt, 1 into 1000 uh, kilowatt, and uh, 1 into 1500 kilowatt. Again, 1000, 1 into 1000 directly. 1000 means uh, again 1 into 1000. Again, 800 means 800, you can simply generate 800 because uh, the maximum generating uh, unit size that is available within us is 500,000. Either you have to choose uh, 500 into 2 or 1 into 1000. So simply like that 1 into 1000 is very easy for them. Why? Because uh, if you choose uh, uh, like a 500 into 2, again uh, you have to go for uh, um, uh, on, uh, on the generator, two generators, two generator maintenance, uh, two generators, somebody has to monitor the readings and all. So that is very difficult. Uh, instead of that directly you can go for one into thousand megawatt, like the thermal generating unit. One into thousand kilowatt, like that, or one into thousand uh, hydro generating units, like that. You can easily uh, choose next uh, five hundred kilowatt. So one into five, like that. So what is the number and uh, size of generating unit for various changes of load during the different time in a day? We need to install the different size of generating unit. So different size of the generating units. So from this, what is the common? So like, uh, what is the, uh, like uh, two into 2000 megawatt is, uh, okay. So if, uh, if we uh, choose two into 2000, uh, like two into 1000, that is 2000 megawatt. With that 2000 megawatt, we can easily manage all the, you know, like uh, what are the demand easily. Like if you want uh, two into 2000, uh, sorry, 1000 megawatt, that is 2000 uh, kilowatt. We can generate even 1000 also, 
like a thousand five hundred, like thousand five hundred, like that maximum you can generate with this two uh, into thousand kilo. And again, if you come like here, come like here, so with the one five hundred megawatt, with the one five hundred megawatt, you can easily manage. You can easily manage what all the things that is happening. That is the maximum demand is two thousand five hundred megawatt. So for the, Managing the 2,500 megawatt. So here, if you see, like with the uh, uh, 2 into 100, uh, sorry, 2 into 1,000 megawatt, we can easily generate this uh, uh, this generating image. With uh, this uh, 1 into 500 megawatt, we can easily manage this also. So uh, here, number and size of generating units is we need to install different size of generating units of size 2 into 1,000 kilowatt and As well as one into five hundred kilowatt. Next, we have to calculate plant load factor. So, uh, what is the formula for uh, plant load factor? It is the ratio of average demand to the maximum demand. So, plant load factor is, is nothing but average demand divided by maximum demand. So, how to calculate this average demand in the sense? Average demand is equal to unit generated divided by time in hours. So how to calculate this unit generated, total uh, unit generated, or total energy generated? So total energy generated in uh, 24 hours is nothing but. So here uh, you have to go for the this problem data. That is problem data is nothing but here 12 to 5. That is 12 to 5 is uh, 12 1 2 1 2 3 4 5. So 5. So 5 into 5. So here, if you see, five into five hundred plus five into eight hundred. So here also, if you see again, how much? Yeah, eight hundred. So eight hundred five to ten, five a.m. to ten a.m. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five, five years. So five, five into eight hundred. So similarly like that. Similarly like that, you have to add. Yeah, that is yeah, yeah. Five into eight hundred plus two into two thousand. So here, if you take like, yeah, ten to twelve is two into two thousand. Here, twelve to two is again two, two into thousand plus again two in two into five pm. So two into five pm is two into five pm is three four five. So three into two thousand five. Plus again five uh, five to eight pm. So five six seven eight. So three into two thousand plus eight into ten pm. That is two two uh, two into thousand five hundred plus again ten pm to twelve pm. Two two into thousand uh, uh, kilo watt. So if you add all this, if you multiply and add all these things, you can easily find out. Thirty-one thousand, thirty-one thousand kilowatt hour. That is total energy. So into time also we have to. So uh, that is thirty-one thousand kilowatt hours. So if we add all this thing, thirty-one thousand kilowatt hours. Next, how to find out average demand? Average demand is total energy generated divided by time in hours. So we have already calculated total energy generated. That is thirty-one thousand. Kilowatt hours divided by what is the time in hours? Twenty-four hours. So twenty-four hours is uh, if you divide this one two nine one point six seven kilowatt. Okay. So after decimals, if you take four digits, you you may get exact uh, data. So I have rounded uh, rounded off here to two digits. So while uh, while you doing, you just go for. After decimal four digits, so that you can get very accurate answer. So this is the average demand. That is one two nine one point six seven. That is approximately one two nine one kilowatt is the average demand in that particular generating unit, generating station. Next, next, what we have to do is we have to calculate um, plant load factor. Plant load factor. Up to now, we have calculated average demand only. So now we are going to calculate plant load factor. That is nothing but average demand divided by 
maximum demand. So average demand. So already we have calculated that is one two nine one point six seven kilowatt. So what is the maximum demand? What is the maximum demand? So here from by seeing the load duration curve, we can easily know the maximum demand. Or otherwise, you go here in this table column also. You can easily find out the maximum demand that is two thousand five hundred kilowatt. So, so I am substituting two thousand five hundred kilowatt over here. So, plant load factor is equal to this one two nine one point six seven divided by two thousand five hundred kilowatt. So, into hundred. Okay, into hundred I am adding. Why? Because factor I am calculating. So, simply like that, if you calculate here, so it will come like zero point. Uh, I want like that. So this is the factor. So into hundred. Okay. So multiply by hundred. So uh, we have to display. We have to uh, show this plant uh, load factor in percentage. So simply like that, we are going for into hundred. So plant load factor here after calculating fifty one point six 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 seven. So the total plant is utilized only fifty one percentage. Fifty one point six seven percentage one. So fifty one point six seven percentage is the plant load factor. Again, we have to calculate plant capacity factor. What is plant capacity factor? How to calculate plant capacity factor? Plant capacity factor is nothing but uh, total energy generated divided by capacity of the plant. That is plant capacity into number of operating hours. That is number of hours whatever we have taken. So what is the capacity of the plant? So capacity of the plant is nothing but here three into thousand megawatt plus one into five hundred um, uh, kilowatt. So sometimes in the uh, uh, problem itself directly given the problem itself directly given the capacity of the plant, or otherwise we need to calculate capacity of the plant. So here we see like capacity of the plant. So how much? Why we I have chosen? Three thousand five hundred uh, megawatt. That is uh, one into three thousand plus one into uh, uh, yeah one into sorry three into thousand plus one into five hundred. Three into thousand plus one into five five hundred. So here, if you see, so uh, for managing this uh, two thousand five hundred kilowatt, so definitely you uh, need to uh, choose either uh, two. Two into thousand plus one into five hundred, but uh, simply like that. For uh, why I cho uh, I am choosing three thousand megawatt because why because with the three thousand megawatt easily I can manage whatever the things coming over here. Either I I, I may go for two thousand five hundred kilowatt, either I may go for two thousand kilowatt, either I may go for thousand five hundred. So whatever the thing. Uh, I have to generate simply by choosing three thousand uh, kilowatt. I can easily choose this. Uh, uh, like whole thing will be come under that three thousand kilowatt. So again, this uh, five hundred megawatt also there. Okay. So uh, I uh, what I have did is I have added uh, once again this uh, plus one into five hundred kilowatt. So simply like that three thousand five hundred kilowatt. That is the plant capacity. So, but in the normal, um, if the, in some other problems, directly most of the problems directly plant capacity is given. That is three thousand five hundred kilowatt. Like that. So here, just to show, show here, just to show, I have taken directly uh, as three thousand five hundred kilowatt. Like that. So I have calculated and I have taken like three thousand five hundred kilowatt. So this is the capacity of the plant. Next, uh, uh, next. Uh, We have to calculate plant capacity factor. So plant capacity factor already I have calculated total energy generated. Okay, total energy generated by here. So total the energy generated is thirty one thousand kilowatt hour. So simply like that I have uh, substituted this thirty one thousand kilowatt hour here divided by plant capacity. Plant capacity uh, like uh, uh, already I have calculated. That is three thousand. 500 kilo, so 3,500 kilowatt into number of operating hours. Here it is 24 hours. So directly if you into 100, so this is the factor. No, 
this is in percentage we have to give so into 100 so into 100 means so while calculating we, we can directly get 37 percentage so plant capacity factor for this particular problem is 37 percentage next plant use factor plant use factor is nothing but total energy generated divided by rated capacity of the plant into number of operating hours so total energy generated we already calculated so here we have to calculate rated capacity of the plant and operating hours you know so rated for calculating rated capacity of the plant into number of operating hours okay so simply you have to go again uh, from the problem so from the problem 12 pm to 5 pm 5 am uh, 12 midnight to 5 am <coughs> next 5 am to 10 Then ten to twelve, then twelve to two, two to five, five to eight, eight to ten, ten to twelve. So meanwhile, here uh, like a uh, five hundred thousand. So here uh, you have to very very carefully you have to do here. So for calculating rated capacity, okay. So here um, like uh, we have to go for actual problem. Yeah, what is the actual problem? Twelve to five, five hundred, five to ten, eight hundred, like that. It is given. But the uh, rated, how to calculate rated capacity of the plant? So uh, while writing the uh, in the exam, uh, while writing in the exam or uh, while solving, if you are writing, once you write the problem itself, this problem itself, while writing side by side, uh, after this, you have one more column you add here. You directly write the rated capacity is here. Twelve to five is five hundred. Here five to ten is eight hundred actual, but the rated capacity is thousand one. Why? Because for generate generating this eight hundred kilowatt, we have to choose thousand kilowatt. Again, ten to twelve, two thousand. That is okay. Twelve to ten, that is also okay. That is uh, one into thousand. So twelve to um, uh, sorry, two to five is two thousand five hundred kilowatt. That is one into 2000 plus 1 into 500. Again, 5 pm to 8 pm, 2000. That is 1 into 2000. Uh, Sorry, 2 into 1000. Again, 8 pm to 10 pm, 1500 kilo. So that is nothing but 1 into 1000 plus 1 into 500. Next year, uh, 10 to uh, 12. That is 1000. Again, 1000 kilo. That is directly you can take 1 into 1000. So like that, we have to take here. Yeah, like that. What we have to take here. So we have to round up. We have to round up means uh, instead of eight hundred, I am directly taking thousand. So in some other problem, uh, some more eight hundred, my some seven hundred, nine hundred will also will come. So based on that, we have to uh, choose the rated capacity of the plant. So after choosing this. You can easily calculate rated capacity of the plant into number of operating hours, like pi into pi n. Here, uh, duration is uh, hour is pi uh, pi. So pi into pi n plus pi into thousand. Here also pi. Pi uh, to ten is pi. So pi into thousand. Like that. Two into two thousand plus two into thousand plus three into five two thousand five hundred. Three into two thousand, two into two thousand five hundred, two into thousand, uh, like that. So if you ca calculate, if you calculate all these things, you will be getting thirty two thousand kilowatt hour. So plant use factor is nothing but total energy generated divided by rated capacity of the plant into number of operating hours. Here number of operating hours also multiply. So no need to. Multiply again to twenty-four years. If you calculate like that, your problem will be wrong. So directly rated capacity of the plant into operating hours directly we have calculated. So thirty-one thousand kilowatt hour divided by thirty-two thousand kilowatt hour. So what we calculated here. So thirty-two thousand kilowatt hour. So into thousand uh, into sorry into hundred. So into hundred uh, why because for factor that is plant use factor that is in percentage. So if we calculate, so it is coming like ninety six point ninety six point eight seven percentage approximately ninety seven percentage it is coming 
like plant use factor. So this this is the plant use factor. So this much percentage that plant is being used. Okay. So again, how to calculate reserve capacity in the sense reserve capacity is nothing but plant capacity minus maximum demand. Plant capacity already be calculated 30, uh, 35,000 kilowatt minus maximum demand is 2,500 kilowatt. So that is nothing but 1,000 uh, kilowatt is the reserve capacity. So 1,000 kilowatt is the reserve capacity uh, you have to install in the generating station as well as uh, in the substation also reserve capacity but uh, sometimes uh, reserve capacity uh, if you go for a thousand uh, kilowatt like that uh, in a substation uh, it will be very very costly so minimum uh, they will go for thousand uh, kilowatt or sorry hundred kilowatt or um, uh, like a 10 uh, megawatt, 5 megawatt, 1 megawatt, like that, they will install the reserve capacity generator in the substation. Um, usually, they will go for like a 500 kilowatt or 1 megawatt maximum, they will go for 1 megawatt uh, because more than that, you need to spend more to uh, like a 1 megawatt, uh, like 500 kilowatt is the maximum. 1 megawatt sometimes, if it is more than that, they, they need to. Uh, uh, install more um, amount of uh, uh, like uh, more uh, amount of rupees uh, over that. So that is the so simply like that you can easily calculate this reserve capacity also plant uh, use factor also you can easily calculate next to plant uh, um, uh, capacity factor next to load load factor plant load factor average demand uh, like a number and size of generating units. Uh, load and load duration curve, we can easily draw. Okay, so if uh, this problem, if you can able to solve, you can uh, able to solve any other problem, whatever the problem is given to you, you can easily solve uh, this problem. Very, very simple. Okay, easily 10 mark question or 16 mark question, very, very simple. So you can easily solve this and you can get full marks. Only thing is that simple, simple things, units. Is very very important uh, when drawing load curve and load duration curve. Units is very very important here. Uh, and uh, while drawing load curve, this is time in hours. While drawing load duration curve, this is duration in hours. That is very very important. If you write, simply like uh, write like time in hours, so uh, uh, like uh, this is wrong. Even though this is uh, 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 like hours, but this is duration. And here also, Unix is very, very important. Next, uh, uh, like a uh, number and size of generate uh, Unix, you can easily calculate. Next, uh, plant load factor. Sometimes, majority, uh, what uh, you, uh, like most of the students, what they are going to do is, they are um, uh, simply like that, they will not uh, multiply this with 100. They will directly go for uh, 0.15. That is wrong. Because this is in factor, that too, um, what we have to do is we have to go for in percentage. So plant load factor is nothing but uh, like in percentage you have to uh, like project the answer. You have to calculate the uh, that is in percentage. And similarly, plant capacity factor. Plant capacity factor also in percentage. So as I said, plant capacity is directly will be given in the problem itself. If it is not given, simply like that you can calculate. That is not uh, a yeah, uh, very complex thing. So that is also you can calculate. It's a plant use factor also. Plant use factor also. Total energy generated divided by rated capacity into number of operating hours. So here, what we are doing is we are calculating as a whole. That is rated capacity of the plant into operating hours directly. So rated capacity into number of operating hours, we are calculating. Okay, so again, don't uh, do this mistake. That is into 24, you don't add here. Okay, major, uh, most of the students uh, will do like that. And uh, you, if you do like that, so plant use factor will come like very, very less, uh, like uh, 40 percentage, 30 percentage like that. So that is wrong. So that also that reserve capacity, you can easily catch. So with this, uh, like this is the model problem. With this problem, we can, you can do any of the problem, 
whatever the things, uh, whatever the problem given in the exam, you can easily crack. It is 